Isn't this exciting? Hi, I'm Tammy. I'm a math teacher. And at College of the Redwoods, we used to have a student club called the S&M Club. Their logo had S&M in big letters, and in small letters, it said science and math. We even like it. I teach arithmetic to, to college students. They're mostly returning students, and the average age might be about 35 or so. How did they get there, arithmetic? Um, they, each person has a different story, but most of them were math abused. <laughs> All of them have made the decision that now is the time in their life that they need to learn math. So they're not happy to be there, but they're determined. The level of the math that we talk about is very basic, but the level of discourse that we have about properties and concepts is at an adult level. And through the semester, they find their eureka moments, and they experience understanding and the feeling of satisfaction, and many of them even like it. The, um, there's a pervasive problem in our society and that it's socially acceptable to say, I don't like math, I can't do math. But people would be embarrassed to say, I can't read. Role models, when young people hear their role models say that they can't do math, they get the mistaken message that it's okay to grow up, to be an adult, and not have to learn math. That's a history button like what Ellen Johnson was just telling us about. If we could change how people think about math, it would be a good thing for our culture. We, have, uh, we need an attitude adjustment. Oh, and another popular history button that a lot of people get stuck with is that girls can't do math. That's not okay. Every person deserves to have a good relationship with mathematics. Think about the relationships people have with music. There are many different genres of music. Country, classical, Afropop, etc., etc. And people find a style of music that they like and that they can identify with. People don't say, I don't like music. If they just come across some music that they don't like. Similarly with math, there are different genres, there are branches of mathematics, and you can actually think of it like a tree with arithmetic making up the trunk and some algebra, and then lots of branches that come off of that tree. Probability, logic, game theory, networks, like social networks, recreational mathematics, like ma magic squares and origami and fractals and more and more and more. There are so many branches and small branches that come off of them and they cross over and they intertwine. There's something for everyone. And whatever math excites you, when you study math, you develop good critical thinking and problem solving skills. And I challenge you to check for those history buttons, see if you have any bad negative math attitude ones and get rid of them. And I'd like to offer you some positive history buttons. Math is good, math is exciting. I deserve to have exciting math in my life. <laughs> Girls can do math, and I even like it. Oh, math has so many diverse and varied fields that if your math that you're doing does not excite you, you should find something else. Give something else a try sometime. Now I'm going to give you all an assignment. Find math that excites you or select something that you already know about and share it with people, ideas worth spreading. I can't change the world in five minutes, but if everybody does that, if everybody finds some exciting math and shares it with other people, then we can affect the needed attitude adjustment. And it's like this stream 
little by little, created the beauty of Fern Canyon. And I'm going to start by sharing some math with you that I get excited about. I write songs, I make up songs for my students. So here's a math song about the algebraic order of operations. <laughs> Groups are the first things to look for with symbols such as radicals, fraction bars, and more. Next, exponents and roots you simplify. Then left to right, divide and multiply. After that, the only operations left inside should be adding and subtracting. Do them left to right. Thank you very much.